We're going to now do something uh, somewhat different. We're going to begin this video, um, which actually started because of a Western singer called Roy Acuff, A-C-U-F-F, -F, very famous Western singer. And one of the songs that got him a very good job and got him very popular and was a very odd song that comes from a, a southern hymn and it was called the great speckled bird now the odd thing is the great speckled bird comes from the old testament prophet isaiah now the great speckled bird happens to be something that's used by this prophet Isaiah to give an example through a bird of what is going on in his life with the Jewish people, uh, those in Judah and those in Israel, and the conflicts that are going on and the problems that the Jews had by beginning to worship other idols and things that they shouldn't do having fallen off from their covenant. So this entire thing, when it begins, when we keep it, it's going to be called Jeremiah 1. And it will be, of course, in the Bible folder. So this is Jeremiah 1. Now, what we're going to do first, this is called in the King James, normally a speckled bird. But I'm going to take other Bibles and tell you what they call it because it's very important to get an idea of what it's called before we even get into um, uh, Roy Acuff's song. So, the Voice Bible calls the speckled bird a colorful vulture. Now, the Expanded Bible uh, calls this a hyena layer l-a-i-r the amplified small bible calls it like a speckled bird of prong and the large one says a speckled bird unlike others or unlike other birds now the queen's bible says speckled bird but the note says a taloned bird in other words with sharp talons the um uh, you see the applied word bible says it, it's a vulture the date bible says uh it is a speckled bird but that's from the hebrew t-s-a-b-e which means dyed or striped bird speckled with diverse colors and it only occurs there in the bible in no other place now the key word study bible says that it has a note bird having talons so in other words evidently this bird was one that could be discovered by its colors but also discovered by its abilities to do what it had to do which in this case was appeared to be some some kind of damage now what we will do before we look at why we're going to look at these different ways of translating this word and what a speckled bird means in the prophet Isaiah, which we will get to eventually, because this prophet uses not just birds, but beasts and other creatures as symbols of what his message is. And the prophets do that often. They, they use different names, symbols of of what they're trying to say from different figures that you see around them perhaps so what we will do next when we do this which would be isaiah 2 in the bible folder is to get roy acuff's words that were set to this that he played and sang with his guitar that made him extremely well known and famous and let's see what he says about this speckled bird and then we'll get into a little more details. So this will be Isaiah 1 in the Bible folder. And we will continue with this shortly. <laughs> 